It's a rainy Thursday morning here at Ceramic Studio and uh, I'm opening the kiln to look at uh, the various tests that we ran with some vases that we mixed up. So I hope you'll stay with me as we look at them. Okay, so here we are, the big reveal. So if we come in closer, now they're just a few pieces. Now what we did was, Esther and I, um, because the tiles weren't dry yet, uh, we used the pieces that uh, some of them we didn't like anymore, some of them you know, had some defect because they got a crack or something like that. Um, so we used those for our test so that if anything happened to them and we didn't like the glaze, no loss. Alright, so here we are. The first piece I am taking out is uh, this one. Now, this glaze here was uh, mixed with actually purple oxide and uh, red oxide. And uh, here I have an interesting ochre color. I did a, a light wash with it here to see what it looked like if we did a wash. And down here I have another color. It uh, was mixed with a yellow stain with just a very light hint of a crimson stain at the bottom. Right. So this piece here, very light, because you need to see that one, is actually the base glaze for it. Right, so this is the base glaze and these uh, are the colors that we got after them. Alright, this is it again, this is the glaze. I did a thick layer here and I did a thin layer here. It pulls nicely. I am not seeing any evidence of cracking or crazing or crawling. So that's a good thing. Um, still a little granular, so I think I will have to do a, another sieving to get out all of those greens. Or I might decide to keep the greens, I don't know. Alright, now here I did the same glaze but with a lighter coat. So what I have is a very matte, almost transparent, and actually it might work well as a clear glaze. So woohoo! <laughs> then we have this one. Now, for those of you on ceramic recipe and glazing, you would remember me talking about the oops. This is the oops. This is the oops. And uh, you were right. Oops can sometimes be a good thing. <laughs> Alright, so this is a thick layer and a thinner layer here of my oops glaze. Nice spreading, nice flow. No crazing, no cracking. And it has a nice gloss. So this, I think, is a keeper. This is it here, minus the color. Oh, and by the way, this color here is some chrome oxide and some cobalt carbonate. Alright, um, this is it here, minus the thing. This one has some crazing. Yes, I'm seeing it very slightly. So I will have to do some adjustments to that, but I still like it. And I might actually keep this, some of this mixture for that crazing that I'm getting. Very light crackling. Very, very light. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Very, very light color. Alright, and this again is that same glaze. Again, with a thick layer and a thin layer. And there's no sign of crazing here. I'm seeing some little very, very light pinholing along the edges. So we'll have to work on that. But other than that, Hmm. Now, this one wasn't really a glaze test as much as a glazing. This is a wash that I made um, and I used uh, copper carbonate. I love the green. I love the movement. I wanted to get uh, some to show through the, the, the clay. This is B mix. Um, Lago from Laguna, as well as get color. So I achieved what I wanted to get. Lovely. So I am very, very happy. Very happy. 
So, here is uh, one of my glazes and I put it on a red clay. Now, you notice what happens when it mixed with the red clay? I got a lovely brown with some white streaks in between. Very, very surprising and actually quite pleasant. So I'm going to be doing some throwing with this clay so that I can get that again. And then we have Nancy's, that's Nancy Gallagher, her fat crawl glaze. I used here a mix of uh, um, yellow stain with uh, some crimson again because I was trying to get the orange but apparently color mixing is the same in glazing so I got this interesting light yellow kind of buttercup yellow instead I don't mind all right so we have some matte areas where the wash was thickest and then we have where the wash was thinnest we have the, the crawling of the glaze in the back here I didn't put any of the stain so much so I do love the patterning in this this is really something else I like it I did it here without so much of the stain and look at it here again wonderful glaze it's going to be a keeper this one was dipped this one was brushed on so now these inside us here are my friend Esther's my friend Esther's glazes that she made um, it's not really here I can just let you get a peek at them this piece here is one of my pieces that I that I glaze on it's a nice running and flowing here okay so the next glaze test that you see will be on some cute little tiles we'll be making some more glazes so please do join me again very exciting very exciting